Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This tutorial will introduce concepts required to generate a low-poly 3D model, suitable for real-time applications. In this example, we will bake and import the 3D model into Unity 3D, or you can adapt this tutorial to your preferred engine. In order to keep our asset lightweight while maximizing detail, we will generate a normal map for a low-polygon mesh. In computer graphics, normal mapping is a technique used for faking the lighting of bumps and dents, which allows to retain details while having a lower polygon count. With the help of additional software, we will bake the details from a high polygon mesh to a normal map that will be applied to a low polygon mesh. Our first focus is the decimation of the 3D model generated by Zephyr. In this example, this textured mesh is composed by more than 2 million triangles. While your requirements may vary, generally speaking, this poly count is too high for a single asset. While an engine can easily handle these many vertices, a typical real-time scene will be composed by more models, so it is vital that we try to keep the poly count as low as possible to ensure a smooth real-time experience. As previously explained in tutorials 6 and 9, you can generate a low poly mesh directly in Zephyr. Depending on your final triangle count target, you can use the decimation tool or the photo consistency based mesh optimization tool, which is slower but will preserve more detail. When ready, export your low poly mesh to a temporary location. The second step is to define the UV map of the low poly mesh as explained in tutorial 10. In this case, I'm using the smart UV unwrap function offered by Blender for a quick unwrapping, but of course, you can use any other workflow you like. Now that both the high poly mesh and the low poly mesh are ready, it is time to bake the normal map. For this tutorial, I will use the excellent free software XNorma, but again, any other alternative you may prefer is absolutely fine. Right click to open the context menu and then add your high poly mesh to the high poly mesh list, and then repeat the same process for the low poly mesh. Select Normal Map in the Baking Options and select the desired normal map resolution. You may want to select other options now if required in your workflow, for example, the Bent Normal and Occlusion Map Generation if you wish to try the Unity 3D The Lighting tool. Otherwise, simply click Start and wait for the baking process to complete. If you need a textured mesh, don't forget to use the import mesh with custom UV function in Zephyr using our custom UV mapped mesh. When ready, export your textured mesh. Everything is now ready for import in your engine of choice. Start a new project in Unity 3D. Since I use the OBJ file format, I need to copy the mesh file, material, texture and normal map in the asset directory of my project. Remember to select normal map in the inspector. This is a mandatory step in Unity 3D and other engines may differ slightly in this step. Other file formats, such as FBX, may require additional import steps. You can now drag and drop your mesh in your scene and assign materials and texture like you normally would. In this case, I am simply dragging and dropping the texture file and the normal map in the inspector since I'm using the standard Unity 3D shader. Remember that you can remove the texture from the model while keeping the normal map enabled. This helps you inspect how the normal map behaves with the selected shader in your engine of choice. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group to vote for the next video tutorial.